This is my iMoon uh, C9 smartwatch, which I bought off of Amazon recently. Today I'm going to be talking about using uh, the dial center on the, let's show you the app that you need for this, this uh, smartwatch. It's called Go Glory Fit. So once you have it installed and you sync your device, so you just click on Glory Fit. I'm using an iPhone right now. And let's go back. Once you, you can skip the login process, but once you get to home over here, you'll click device and sync your, sync your, uh, or connect your Bluetooth to this device here. It's really straightforward. Um, and if it's not, there might be something wrong with the, the smartwatch. But once you've uh, uh, connected it and you click on device, the very top option is watch faces. So you can actually change the watch face. Um, let me show you something. There's f four preloaded watch faces. If you have it at the home screen, just press it and hold it until it zooms in a little bit or zooms out. You can move right or left so here's one face this is the default face dial face three and then four and then and you just click on it when you want to select it and there it is so now when I turn it off turn it on the standard uh, dial face has steps heartbeat day and even uh, obviously time but then it would have temperature so if you go to watch faces, I would suggest uh, you can choose uh, which watch face you want to dial face you want to download and save. You can see there's quite a lot you can choose from. Uh, I say to download whatever you can because when I first got this phone, I, this screen had nothing in it and it had some kind of network error. So uh, I think it's nice to download whichever one you think you'll be using. You have to use this app to sync over uh, uh, what is like a custom dial face because um, this only accepts one custom dial face at a time and you basically have to sync it over. So I'll show you. So let's say I want this one and I go synchronous dial. It downloads it and over here in the top it's gonna download it into my dials over here so I can get it back at a later date and now it's synchronizing it to the phone so it's uploading it onto the not the phone it's uploading it onto the smartwatch keep on using the wrong words for this but it's uploading it onto the smartwatch right now uh, it takes roughly about a minute They also have a third option, which is custom, so you can upload a picture and from the camera or uh, your photos, and you can put it onto the dial, and it has a preset template for where all the information is set. So I'll show you that too. Um, overall, I, I, I like this smartwatch. Uh, supposedly it can last three to ten days depending on what you turn on and turn off. Uh, some people turn off the heartbeat monitor as well as the oxygen monitor and they say that it lasts a lot longer. So you can see it synchronizes, it's, it says synchronization complete and now the display is this. Uh, I, the colors are pretty vibrant and uh, so this is originally a $70 smartwatch on sale for 50 and if you go to deal, deal news, uh, I'm not sure if the coupon code still works, I was able to get this for $20. Um, so going back to this, you have to press and hold, and you can switch the dial face to the default ones that are preloaded on, onto this smartwatch. Uh, so again, I said, if you go back here and you to this dial center and you 
download another one over here let's say I like this one over here if I synchronize dial do that synchronizing means it's uh oh No, I'm not sure what's going on. So let's go back to here. So let's try this again. See that weird page before? That's uh, what was displaying the whole time earlier. So I'm going to try this again. says it's synchronizing it says device not connected so I'll do some troubleshooting maybe I need to restart the what do you call it the smartwatch if I go over here to my dial it shows you the ones that I've already downloaded so let's say I choose this one hopefully I can synchronous dial you can see it's now synchronizing so I'd mentioned you should try downloading whichever ones you like because sometimes that server where all the dial faces are goes offline for me it was offline for the afternoon and I had mentioned um, Basically, you can only have one custom dial loaded onto your smartwatch. And sorry about me switching the words smartwatch with, with smartphone. It's just uh, maybe a Freudian slip. But anyways, this smartwatch um, can only take one custom dial face. And it takes about a minute. And there you go. Um, finally, I mentioned you can do a custom dial. And so this one is where you can upload an image. First, click on the custom one. Choose the background. I'm going to use from my album instead of the camera. And I'll show you. I'll use one that's math related. And I can do that or maybe I'll move that over just to be that you click yes and then you can change the color of the text sorry about that maybe red no and then they have ones for all the colors there's nothing that really stands out well I wish they would outline maybe the text in black okay I'm gonna try this one anyways and then I click on the that and then I sync click on synchronous dial hopefully it starts moving over I'm getting the device not connect connected error. I'm thinking I just need to restart the smartphone. I mean the smartwatch. So I'm gonna do it the easy way, and that's turn it off. Turn it back on. Now it's working. Again, it's going to take a minute.
And then that's the end of my tutorial. I guess you could call it a tutorial. Um, any final thoughts? Uh, I guess I should go over the interface a little bit. Uh, but I'll do that in a different video. I already spent 10 minutes talking about using the dials or uploading the dials from the, the GloryFit app. But again, you can save a battery life by, I think, d disabling some features on here. And you can do it, I think, from the GloryFit app. So we're almost there. There you go. See? Time, date, steps. This one doesn't have like the temperature and stuff, but still, it's kind of nice. Okay, over and out.